Now zip, remember, only use a little bit of that jumbo zippy pop popcorn. Hand for Cocktail Frank and his weenies. Nice to be here, Mark. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Look at this. Mmm, popcorn. Hey, you have to pay for that. It's special popcorn. Mark, help! Turn off the stove! Harry! Ah! That was my nose! Sorry, it's Daddy. Smooth. Wait a minute, I get it. I think I got it. Mark, that tickles! Sorry, Zip. Daddy, why did you make so much popcorn? I didn't make so much popcorn. Zip did, the not-so-frugal gourmet. Well, I zip if I get my hands on you. Special popcorn, one special cartoon coming up. <laughs> zip, you can't hide forever. Peekaboo! <laughs> on everyone, Clancy. Now, let's see. Where is that registration desk? I know it's around here. Ah, here's a directory. Hmm. Restaurant, mezzanine, barber shop, meeting hall. Up? Up? Oh, no. No elevators for me. I'll walk. Elevators make me queasy. You might even say, little sick. 
Down! Down, Bowser! Down, I say! Ooh, he's a biter! There he goes, Clancy! After him! Ah, the dog catcher. And Johnny's on his spot. Desk clerk. Here we are. I'll just ring for the clerk. Hmm! <laughs> Chimes. Room number, please. Okay, you had it, Pops. 23's could do. <laughs> Help they get these days. All right, now let's spread out. Number 23. Ah, I, ooh, this is it. Where is that pesky doorknob? Mm, pleasant accommodation. Oh, no. Not again this year. Why do I always get saddled with these celebrants? Oh, the cornwalls, I tell you. Old Magoo, always a nursemaid. Come on, brother. We <laughs> snap out of it. <laughs> the old cold shower will straighten you out. <laughs> Get the old cobwebs out. Oh, no. We're not going to have any of this. <laughs> We're getting rid of these practical jokes right this minute. Exploding cigars. No. Oh, no, no, no. Cherry bombs. Oh, no. Firecrackers. No. Flaming bloopers, hot foots, squirting rings, itching powder, oh. an electric cane. No, no. Here, this alarm clock is an hour slow. I don't want to miss the speeches. Now, what's eating him? Gravy. Fellow member, you can't leave this much money lying around. I'll just put it in this wall safe. My life savings! No, I've had enough of this horseplay. I'm going to get another room. Aha! Uh, uh, you and your childish pranks. I <laughs> told you, but you wouldn't All listen. Ashore that's going ashore. All ashore that's going ashore. Now that's what I call a safe, gentlemanly way to celebrate a convention. Allow me to shake your hand. Ah! Oh, oh, oh! You know, I couldn't resist a little innocent joke. Well, that's what conventions are for, Brother Buffalo. Remember the wild time we had in Pittsburgh? It took 3,000 city employees alone to clean up after that convention. Alone? How could they... Now, Zip, you have to learn to take responsibility for your mistakes. You made it, you eat it. And now it's time for a socko. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> Elevator up. Hey, Wiener, how do I get out of here? <laughs> for you. Quick impression of Ross Perot. <laughs> Don King. <laughs> Don King's dog. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, I will walk the high wire. Silence, please. As if I'm not getting it already. <laughs> A drum roll, please! One foot! No feet!
you. Who wants to play basketball with me? I need one kid to come up who wants to play basketball. Okay, you right there, girl with the, the pink shirt on. Come on up, come on up. Right on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, let's move this away. Here you go. Now, you're gonna try and take a shot and I'm gonna block it. Try, try and take a shot. <laughs> okay, now let me take a shot. I'll take a shot and you try and block me. Too late. Ah! <laughs> Take, 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 a, take a shot, take a shot. Get going. Okay, now Sako will take a shot all the way from the back of the auditorium. Here we go. I will shoot off this guy's head. Here we go. Thank you, good night. Nickelodeon Wienerville will be right back after these messages. You're watching Nick, and now back to Nickelodeon Wienerville. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? We need two new citizens of Wienerville. Who wants to be Wienerized? Bernie, bring it up. I'm home. So what? I could tell it was you when you were a block away. You did? How could you tell? I got a built-in radar set right here. Uh, George, when are you going to get some ambition and, and get yourself a better job? What's wrong with my job? Take a good look at yourself. You're a dirty, smelly, crumbin-looking mess. You wouldn't win no beauty contest either. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, but you still have a slob of a job. Don't you want to improve your position? Sure, Kate, but how? By going to school, that's how. Yeah, but you can't teach an old dog no tricks. Haven't you heard? Every dog has his day, and you're no exception. Gee, maybe you're right, honey. <laughs> And now, freshmen, students of the Garbage Collectors Institute, remember that everything you learn here is a lot of garbage. Those students who get straight A's will be privileged to collect on Swanky Park Avenue, where you get some of the finest garbage in the whole world. And this is the uniform you will wear, and wear it with dignity. I can see that you students are eager to get the feel of real garbage in your hands. And who can blame you? 
Now, watch. This is the proper way to empty a garbage can. First, force the cover over your left shoulder for good luck. Always drop a bit of garbage on the ground. Let the public know that you are on the job. Don't worry about the noise bothering them because they're used to suffering. Just make sure that the can comes clean. Now, this is the mark of a good garbage collector. Students, there are certain exceptions to the rule, especially the week before Christmas. I'll demonstrate. Nice and quiet. This is always good for an extra-large tip at Christmas. Any questions? Yeah. When do you stop this kind of service? The day after Christmas. And now, for your final exam. Good. Good. Supreme test on the fire. I am proud to present you with this diploma. Gee, thanks, teacher. Uh, honey, my new job is the greatest. George! What's the matter? You're still a filthy, crummy-looking mess. This job is no better than your last. That ain't so. I work outside in the fresh air now. So how come you left it outside and brought in memories not so fresh? But, 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 but honey! And don't honey me. Why can't you get a nice clean job for a change? Like our neighbor Smith. He's a sea captain. Haven't you got any get up and go? Uh, I'm going. Uh, boy. I'll show you. Uh, I'll make you eat them words. It's me, dear. Big deal. George! Captain George Jones at your service, ma'am. Why, George, you did it. You're a real sea captain. Oh, boy, I'm so proud of you. So you're really proud of me, hey, honey? Don't you sweet talk me, you, you good-for-nothing water rat. Pulling a trick like this on your own wife. My mother warned me about marrying you. Hurry, hurry, hurry! It's time to play. Lisa, wave hello. And Oscar, give him a nice hand. Okay, let's do some exercises. Raise your hands up. Up, 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 up. Put them down. Uh, put them up. Put them to the side. Oscar, you look like you're having a good time there. <laughs> I hate puppets. Okay, Oscar, scratch your nose. Very good. Okay, are you ready to play the game? The name of the game is Popcorny. Okay, the object of the game is the person who gets the most corn in the buckets wins the game. Are we ready to play the game? Let's go! Shovels, both shovels. Here, put this one down. 
This is a close one. Who's the winner of the game? Lisa! Our runner-up receives the silver hot dog. And the winner gets the golden hot dog. Whoa. And the special sauce. This is the very last piece. No, Pudgy Booty, what's stuff? Here, I'll help you. <laughs>